In this video, we're unpacking Google Gemini's groundbreaking release. Is it really outperforming ChatGPT 4? Time to reveal the truth. In just a few hours since Google announced Gemini, I've delved into the depths of their 60-page technical report, scrutinized the alpha code, and sifted through every press release and media interview. With 45 critical notes in hand, we're bypassing the usual introductions to dive straight into the heart of Gemini, a family of highly capable multimodal models. Let's start by addressing the big question. Is Gemini AGI, artificial general intelligence? The answer is no. But when it comes to outperforming GPT-4, Gemini shows prowess in multiple modalities, though in text, it's a close match. This video will not only dissect the technicalities, but also unravel the hype, especially around the bombshell alpha code 2 paper. We'll compare the three models, Nano, tailored for mobile devices, Pro, a notch above GPT 3.5, and Ultra, the anticipated competitor to GPT 4, set for release next year. Each model's unique capabilities and limitations will be thoroughly examined. As we delve deeper into Gemini's capabilities, let's first clear up a common confusion. The performance comparison between Gemini Ultra and GPT-4 is not straightforward. While GPT-4's evaluation in the MML, Multiple Modalities Learning Benchmark, was based on a five-shot learning approach, Gemini Ultra utilized a chain of thought method with 32 samples. This difference in methodology makes it more than just a head-to-head -head comparison. Another critical point is the MLU, Multiple Learning Units Test. It's a comprehensive assessment covering 57 subjects, from chemistry to morality. However, the accuracy figures for both models are approximations. In a conversation with the creators of the MLU while working on my Smart GPT video, I learned that GPT-4 could achieve nearly 90% accuracy with some basic prompt engineering. Let's shift our focus to a more user-friendly topic, reinforcement learning. In simple terms, think of it like teaching a dog new tricks. You give the dog a command, and if it performs correctly, it gets a treat. That's positive reinforcement. If it doesn't, you correct it, guiding it towards the right action. Reinforcement learning in AI works similarly. The AI model tries different responses, and when it gets positive feedback, it learns that this response is good. Over time, this method helps the model to improve its accuracy and effectiveness in tasks. Back to Gemini, we see its dominance in non-textual modalities. In nine image understanding benchmarks, Gemini outperforms not only GPT-4, but all other models. This is impressive, considering Gemini was trained from the ground up to be multimodal, enhancing its performance in various tasks like image and video understanding. Continuing our deep dive, let's turn our attention to a groundbreaking aspect of Google Gemini, the Alpha Code 2. This component of the Gemini project, particularly based on the Gemini Pro model, demonstrates remarkable advancements in the automation of coding. AlphaCode 2, even though not yet widely available due to its computational intensity, showcases what's possible in the near future for coding automation. AlphaCode 2 was rigorously evaluated on platforms like CodeForces. Impressively, it could solve complex coding problems that GPT-4 struggled with especially those outside its training data set. This highlights a crucial advancement. While GPT-4 could ace problems from before 2020, AlphaCode 2's ability to tackle recent, unfamiliar challenges showcases a significant leap in AI's problem-solving capabilities. The intricate system of AlphaCode 2 employs a variety of Gemini models, each tweaked slightly to introduce a diversity in coding approaches. This array of Gemini flavors generates multiple code samples for each problem, emphasizing code diversity and quality. The system then meticulously filters and ranks these samples, using Gemini as a scoring model to identify the most promising solutions. This process is not just about generating code, it's about understanding, analyzing, and reasoning through problems, a feat approaching what we envision as AGI, artificial general intelligence, in coding. The success of AlphaCode 2 in competitive programming contests represents an impressive paradigm shift in AI's capabilities. Meanwhile, the discussion around AGI feats in coding brings us back to the comparison between Gemini and GPT-4. 
In terms of coding, it's a nuanced comparison. While GPT-4 holds its ground in certain aspects, Gemini Ultra with its multimodal training and advanced reasoning capabilities shows potential for even greater advancements in AI-assisted coding. The future of programming, as hinted by these developments, might well be a collaborative one, where human coders work in tandem with highly capable AI models, like Gemini and GPT-4, elevating the coding experience to new heights. As we approach the conclusion of our exploration into Google Gemini and ChatGPT4, it's clear that Gemini, particularly in its ultra form, represents a significant advancement in AI. It's not just about being better in text-based tasks, it's about excelling across a range of modalities, from image understanding to video analysis and speech recognition. What's particularly intriguing about Gemini is its forthcoming integration into various Google services. For instance, Gemini Nano is set to enhance features like Summarize and Smart Reply on the Pixel 8 Pro. And soon, Gemini Pro will be accessible via the Gemini API in Google AI Studio, bringing its capabilities to a broader audience. But the true game changer might be the way Gemini, especially the Ultra model, shapes the future of AI. As we eagerly await its release next year, it's worth pondering how its multimodal training from the ground up will redefine AI interactions, making them more natural and intuitive. Gemini's potential to merge with robotics, as hinted by Google DeepMind, opens new avenues for AI applications, blurring the lines between digital and physical worlds. In comparison, ChatGPT4, while a formidable contender, seems to be more focused on text-based prowess. Its capabilities in coding and language understanding are impressive, yet it lacks the multimodal flexibility that Gemini boasts. So, is it the end of ChatGPT4? Not quite. Both models have their strengths and unique applications. The evolution of AI is not about one model superseding another, but about how these technologies collectively push the boundaries of what's possible. As we wrap up, remember that the realm of AI is ever-evolving. Today's breakthrough could be tomorrow's stepping stone to something even more extraordinary. The journey of AI is far from over, and with each new development, we step closer to a future where AI is not just a tool, but a collaborator in our daily lives. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more enlightening content.